Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Justice Ration Network on YouTube. And today, I'm happy to announce that we are joined by a very special guest. Today, we're joined by Modified Driver, and uh, now he's going to be racing Xfinity Series this weekend, Patrick Everling. So, Patrick, how are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm glad to have you on. Uh, so, for you guys watching, sorry about my voice. I'm kind of sick right now, so uh, apologies for that. So, thank you so much, Patrick, for joining today. I uh, really appreciate you coming on. I've been excited to talk to you now. So this weekend, you, you'll you be making uh, your second Xfinity start. You made one last year um, at Bristol Motor Speedway. Now uh, you're back in the 23 car for our motorsports. So can you talk to us about how you're feeling this weekend? Yeah, I mean, it's um, quite amazing, you know, how that came together. And um, <clears throat> just, um, you know, yeah, just uh, very excited coming into this weekend. Um you know, Loudon's been one of my favorite racetracks um, the past several years. So with the modified, uh, you know, every time we run there with the modified, we're, you know, we're usually up in the top five unless there's something wrong there. But um, you know, we tend to run up front there. Um, yeah, very fun racetrack in the modified. Um, <clears throat> and um, you know, and doing double duty this weekend. Um, you know, uh, yeah, the first start in the Xfinity car um, was, yeah, last year at Bristol, another track that I like uh, pretty much. Um, you know, but the one thing last year, you know, when I, start, you know, maybe started the race like a little, um, you know, a little timid, maybe feeling some things out a little bit and, uh, you know, just wanted to finish all the laps. And, um, you know, and unfortunately we got taken out there and, you know, we were running, you know, top 15, top 20. Um, yeah, that whole race there. And then unfortunately we got taken out there. Um, but, um, but yeah, I was just very excited to get back into the car. Um, yeah, really looking forward to out in this weekend. Yeah. I was, when I was watching that race last year, I was kind of like, who's this guy? And then unfortunately, you know, you got caught up in that accident stuff, if I remember it. So, um, yeah. So can you talk to us? So you're, you're a modified driver and, uh, you know, they race at, uh, Loudon a lot, um, and I, I didn't realize they're going to be doing uh, the double header this weekend with that. Um, uh, Cause I've, I, I was wanting to come up to this race uh, back, uh, but we, we got a lot of other races this weekend we got to go to. So uh, can you, can you talk to us about how uh, the modified kind of racing that allowed and kind of helps you uh, learn and uh, take, take that experience and use it for the Xfinity race there? Yeah, well, you know, it's obviously, you know, a track I, uh, we, you know, I ran a lot. So, um, you know, so, um, you know, I guess there's nothing unexpected as far as the track goes, but as far as like that helping out maybe with the Xfinity car, um, you know, maybe not so much just because, um, you know, just the cars being so different, like the type of the style of racing is just um, so different. The, the one thing that helps is I did, um race a truck there what back probably like three or four years ago uh captain world truck and um you know so that kind of opened up my eyes to you know kind of how the stock cars kind of are a little bit um you know i think the trucks you know they're they're a little different but i mean i guess they're um you know as far as those are closer together in similarities than say a um you know, a modified is compared to anything. So, um, so yeah, just uh, really looking forward to it, you know, in the modified, um, you know, I think the modified racing is a lot more dicey. So, um, you're going to see, you know, there's quite a bit of, since the modifieds, um, you know, they're not that good, uh, you know, with the aero aerodynamics. Um, so there's, uh, quite a bit of a draft there compared, I think compared to the stock cars. Um, and, um, and, uh, yeah, and just, you know, the kind of the style of racing, you know, there's more slide jobs going on in the modifieds, of course. Um, and, uh, but, uh, but yeah, you know, like, like I said, looking forward to it. Yeah. And, uh, I'm excited to see you back in the car this weekend. It's going to be a fun weekend watching it. So, um, also, can you talk to us about how you're feeling for the modified race this weekend too? Cause, uh, you, yeah, you picked up your uh, second career at NASCAR with a modified win this year. Uh, and so, now you're hope, hopefully you can uh, gain on that stuff and uh, are are you and I I don't know too much about these modified stuff I don't watch it too much so uh, do you compete for points with that series? Yeah, um, right now we're currently leading the points um, by a slim margin. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be our goal for the weekend. Uh, we're gonna you know we've been pretty good at Loudon in the past so 
um, I don't think there's any reason why we should show up and, um, you know, that's a very competitive series, of course, but we should be, you know, I'm expecting we're going to be pretty, uh, pretty good there. So uh, this weekend, um, so that's going to be our goal is, you know, to just try to run up front all day and, um, you know, put ourselves in contention to win the race. And then, um, you know, obviously have a, you know, have a solid points day. Yeah. Well, that, that's good too. I didn't know you were leading the points, So that's, that's good because I don't know many of these modified drivers, so you're kind of the guy I've always watched it and stuff. It's a bit, try to pay attention to a little bit. Obviously, you just saw I don't know too much because I clearly did not know who's leading the points. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get my brother up here to do the fan question real quick. Right now, he likes to just sit and play on his phone while we're doing this because he's kind of bored, can't hear. So. All right, so what is your least favorite restaurant? Um, least favorite restaurant. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, well, least favorite. Uh, I would say, I don't know, I'd maybe say like McDonald's or something like that. Because, uh, I don't know, anytime I went there, I didn't seem to finish the meal. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I guess. I don't, there's not really any I dislike or anything. Well, I wouldn't say dislike, but like that I would just avoid or anything. I mean, I don't eat too much fast food and stuff. Uh, so I don't know. I'd probably have to agree with you on McDonald's. I'm not like a huge fan or anything of them. Um, I can't really think of any that I like really like dislike or anything. So I yeah. don't, I don't really eat there that much. So I'm not, I yeah, wouldn't nothing terrible terrible experience but i don't think uh, off the top of my head right um but uh yeah well i can say there's this one restaurant it's down uh in flagler beach which flagler beach is like right above daytona um it was it's some seafood place or whatever uh that place was pretty garbage i mean i like seafood and stuff but like the service there was awful my it took us like an hour we got there right when it opened and it took us like an hour and a half uh for them to come get our food ready and stuff or like even bring it to the table like big families had come after us and already left and stuff so it's it kind of pathetic but we so we don't eat there anymore but the food was okay overall so it's not necessarily the food it's more the restaurant itself but I don't know so that's really the only bad experience I've had at a restaurant so I can't I can't think of too many but I'll have to agree with you all McDonald's there so yeah, but thank you so much for joining today. I appreciate you coming on, and so I'm excited to see you uh, back in an Xfinity car this weekend, uh, and I guess I'll have to tune into the modified race, too, to see you uh, race there this weekend. And so thank you so much again for joining. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Yep, thank you. All right, and uh, thank you guys for watching, too, and uh, we'll see you next time on Justice Racing Network. Have a good one.